So why do you think it's important to host COVID-19 testing sites ahead of the holiday season? It's just so people know what, if they have the disease or not. I mean, this is a, like we did before Thanksgiving, this is a perfect opportunity for folks to come down and get tested. As you know, right now, the testing has taken anywhere to three to four days to even get into a testing. So these pop-up sites are very important. What do you think the additional benefits could be for the whole community, especially when Ohio is seeing a rise in cases? Well, it's always good to know if, if you're positive or, or negative. It helps you know what to do. Regardless, though, you should still stay at home as much as you can, isolate as much as you can, and wear a mask. Are there plans for any additional COVID-19 testing sites well, in the county? For right now, not until the end of the year, but we'll probably have some more as we go. I know there's been news that there could be tests coming that you can take at home. What do you think of that news? I'm always a little skeptical because, you know, Having somebody just do it for the first time and maybe they may not do it correctly. But it's, it is an option, it is a screening tool. So you can at least get an idea and if you think you need to get a PCR test like we're doing here, which is 100% accurate, or close to 100% accurate, you can do that. So it is a good screening tool for folks. It's definitely great news that we have a vaccine coming. But what is your message to people about testing and why it's still important, even though we still even though we have two vaccines out right now. Yeah, so the, the vaccine, it's going to be months before the citizen, most of the citizens get it. So you definitely want to make sure that you continually social distance, you wear your mask, and then if you're feeling sick or ill, get tested. Okay. And what is the importance of the quarantine period? What, how many days should people quarantine, and why is it important that they do? So we recommend the 14 days uh, from exposure to, or when you get sick. So what that tells you is for 14 days, anywhere from two to 14 days, you could become ill. So that's why you quarantine for 14 days. You can also do it for 10 days and then monitor for the last four days. But we recommend a 14 day uh, quarantine.